In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss Cohen D or effect size. I'm going to tell you some introductory information about it, as well as how to interpret the results. And finally, I'll use some real numbers to calculate a D or Cohen D or effect size. So let's imagine we have a control group. Put that in green, and we also have a mean right there. An experimental group, and I'll put that in blue. The Cohen D measures the distance that the means of the two groups have shifted, and it's measured in standard deviations. How many standard deviations has it shifted? And it can shift this way, negative, and it can also shift positive, of course. It's frequently labeled Cohen D like this. And all you need is the mean for both groups and the standard deviations. The calculation is relatively simple to do. Let me put this in back to the control group and also the experimental group here. D is equal to the mean of the experimental group minus mean of the control group divided by the standard deviation. And we always take the absolute value of this top term, so it's always a positive number. And in this case, we're making the assumption that the standard deviations between the two groups are equal. It is considered a really small effect when the D is equal to, is actually between 0, something greater than 0 to 0 0.20. That's considered a small effect. And we measure this in standard deviations. A medium effect is anything from 0.20 to 0.50. 0 0.20 to 0 0.50. And this is a medium effect. And a large effect is anything more than 0 0.50. When D is greater than 0.50. Remember, the size of the effect is always a positive number. Always take the absolute value of it because you get a negative number. Let's just make it a positive. Now, we made the initial assumption that the two standard deviations were equal to each other, but often they're not equal to each other. So let me show you how to do that and take care of that problem. We simply just take the two standard deviations, divide by 2, and this gives us the average standard deviation, and we use that as, as the denominator. Let me put some numbers in here. We have the mean, which is 5.10, the control group, and the mean of the experimental group is 7.80. The standard deviation is 1.6 and 2.15. We take 7.80 minus 5.10 divided by the average standard deviation. That's the standard deviation, the average of them. Take 1.66 plus 2.15 divided by 2, which equals to 3.81 divided by 2, which is equal to 1.90. So D is equal to 7.8 minus 5.1, which is equal to 2.7 divided by 1.90. And this equates to D is equal to 1.42, which would be considered a very, very large effect. So if we go back to initially, our two bell curves, let me draw that back in there. And we have, slide them across, it'd be a really large effect, right? So D would be equal to 1.42, standard deviations. So since it's more than 0 0.50, it has a large effect. Tutorial, I just introduced you to the idea of Cohen D, how to interpret it, and I used some real numbers also. And I hope this has been useful.